Sagittarius, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for July 9 to July the 15th. And yes, I've been away for a week. I haven't actually been away. I keep on saying I've been away in all these readings, but I haven't actually been away. I've been doing some very kind of stressful things I've needed to do. I've had to um, get through a few things um, personally. Um, but I am back and I'm going to keep on doing these regularly for you now, um, weekly. So hopefully I'll be able to keep that up. I'm going to try my best. And as always, if you like this reading, as I always say, um, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And um, yes, everything's ready. I'm just going to start your reading for lovely Sagittarius. So the first card you have your past is the Two of Swords. So yes, this can be about, you know, um, not wanting to bring people close to you. It can be about refusing to see something. It can be about making a decision and being stuck in the middle. Um, it can be a lot of different things, but I am seeing with this card, this is about, I'm looking at the blindfold that this woman's wearing. This is about a reality. You didn't want to see whatever this was. Um, and um, you weren't letting yourself see the reality of something. This could have been a relationship situation, uh, maybe, um, or maybe it was someone you were hoping to be in a relationship with. I'm not seeing anything actually wrong with this person. It's not like um, you weren't seeing the reality of how bad they are or anything like that. I'm just seeing, I am seeing some reasons why this might not last or it might not even get off the ground. Um, but I, you know, you could have been hoping that this would happen anyway. You might have been kind of hoping, emotional about this, not wanting to see that it might not happen. Um, it's strange because I'm not seeing you actively, actively kind of pursuing this relationship, but you also could be holding on to the idea of this relationship. So it's like maybe you're holding on to the fan, or we were, Maybe you're holding on to the kind of fantasy of this relationship, the idea that one day this will happen, I'll get together with this person, it'll be so amazing, or, oh, this can work out. It might be long distance even, it might be something that you, oh no, we'll get together, it'll work out. But actually, your brain might have been telling you, no, actually, this won't really happen. But your emotions didn't want to see that. Your emotions still had a lot of hope around the situation. And yes, you wanted to keep this blindfold on. You didn't want to see the reality. I keep on seeing as well um, the, f the phrase, um, when the time is right, when the time is right. So maybe you're waiting for the right time for this to happen. Maybe your emotions were. Maybe again, you were saying, oh, the time isn't right now for me to be with this person, but it will be one day. And again, I keep on seeing this might or might not be right. It might be right for some people. It might be a long distance situation again, where you're thinking that, oh, it will happen one day. It's just not practical right now. It's that kind of thing. So this is a head and heart thing. Your head was telling you one thing. Your heart really wanted it to be another thing. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have your past is the star. So yes, I'm just looking at this beautiful woman in this card. This is like the ideal beautiful woman kind of thing. And um, I'm seeing idealism in this actually. I'm seeing this feeling that um, you felt someone was ideal, the ideal kind of person for you. And you know, you could have been trying to match up to this ideal yourself, if that makes sense. Because I'm seeing that maybe this is why I was, I was seeing waiting for the right time. You might have felt that you weren't quite ready for a full relationship, or maybe you felt that you weren't quite good enough for this ideal, amazing person. You are definitely good enough, you are good enough, but um, I'm just getting the sense that something might be um, not right about this connection. It might just be logistics, or it might be some practical reason why this might not work out. Because you, you, know, you had your practical head on, and your head was saying, this isn't going to work, this isn't, you know, they might be too far away, they might be, it might be an age difference, it might be, uh, they might be completely different to you, they might have different ideals, they might, it could be a number of different things. But your heart was still telling you, I'd really like this to happen, I'd still like this to happen. But you're a little bit afraid as well, you're kind of keeping this in um, the ideal form. It was like, oh, I'm just hoping, I just, this is a lovely fantasy, if this happens it'll be amazing. I'm getting that kind of thing um, around this as well. The last card you have for your past is the Hermit. So, yes, I'm just seeing something that, um, something you've been wanting to do, something you've wanted to work toward achieving 
for a long, long time, you've been thinking about this as well. And this is where I'm getting this idealistic thing as well. You kind of, um, you're definitely capable of doing whatever this is, but maybe you felt that you had a lot of steps to take toward this. And maybe you felt like this was a little bit overwhelming for you, that you felt like you couldn't really actually do this in real real life. It was nice for a fantasy. You're probably thinking, oh, maybe I can do this, but no, I can't really. I'm really not good enough. And that I'm getting that kind of thing around this feeling, um, around this thing that you want to achieve or you wanted to achieve. Um, I'm still getting this not good enough feeling around this. You are good enough. You are good enough. Um, but I'm seeing that to be able to take these steps, these practical steps toward this goal that you want or this thing that you want to achieve, you're going to have to search inside yourself. This sounds really cringy, but you are going to have to look inside your subconscious, look inside your feelings. Think about why you don't feel good enough. Think about that. Try and change that because the only way that you're going to get your confidence and to move forward practically is to build up that confidence and think about why you do feel that way. Think about where that comes from. You might even need to have counselling. It might even have to go deeper than just you thinking about this yourself. But you're going to have to take these steps before you move forward. But I am seeing that this thing that you want to achieve, you can do this. You can do this. I am seeing that very clearly. But look at this hermit. He goes off on his own. He explores. He's very introspective. He thinks about himself. He's looking at himself spiritually. He's looking at his insides. That's what you need to do. The first card you have your present is the King of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing some up and down emotions here, but I'm seeing that someone around you is having these up and down emotions, but they're not showing them to you. Um, this could be this person you were thinking about in the Two of Swords, um, because I am seeing a romantic connection with this. This person does actually have a lot of feelings for you. They have a lot of up and down feelings. They might be sensing this practical problem as well. They might be seeing, saying, oh, I really do care for this person. I love this person, but it'll never work. And then the feelings go down. Then they go up again. Oh, yes, I really would love to be with this person. No, but I can't. I have to keep them hidden. I can't show this person how I'm feeling. The feelings are fluctuating. I'm seeing that very clearly. They go up and down. Um, if you look at this card, there's a dolphin on the left-hand side. It's just kind of poking out of the side of this card, kind of looking in toward this um, king. Dolphins, obviously, they jump in and out of the water, so that's why I'm seeing their emotions going up and down. But they're trying to keep a lid on their emotions. They might not be showing you how they're actually feeling. Sometimes this card can be a little bit sneaky. It can be about people hiding their true feelings. But I'm not seeing that in this person. I'm not seeing anything actually wrong with them. I'm not seeing them as a sneaky person. I'm seeing that they might actually have these practical doubts as well. And they might not want to lead you on. They might be feeling um, that they do love you. They do care about you. But they don't want to kind of make you feel like this can happen if they don't believe it can. It might be something like that. I'm not seeing any bad intentions around this person. The next card you have your present is the Page of Wands. So yes, this is about this goal in the Hermit card. You want to achieve something. You have an ambition. You want to do whatever this thing is. I'm getting this feeling of wanting this very, very strongly, but then also being afraid of it. It's like, I really want this so badly, but I don't think I can really do this. I don't think this is really going to happen. I'm just not good enough. I don't know. I don't think I'm very good. Um, and this feeling that you'll never actually get to there, that's what I'm seeing around this. If you look at this page, he's looking up to the top of this wand. He's looking up to it. He's wondering if he'll ever be big enough, if he'll be good enough, he'll ever be strong enough, all of those things. Am I going to reach the top? Am I strong enough? Am I going to be able to get there? You are big enough. You are good enough. You're strong enough. You're all of those things. You really, really are. Sometimes, you know, when you have these huge things that you want to do, um, it can seem overwhelming. You can, you can feel like you'll never get to the top. You'll never get to where you want to go. Um, if this resonates, you need to do two things. Um, you need to obviously do what I'm seeing in the Hermit card. You need to go inside yourself, work out why this is. Again, you might need counselling if this is something that's deep down inside you that's stopping you from achieving what you want. You might do that. Do whatever you need to do to do that, to work on that. 
The other thing is when you've done that, um, it might be time for you to take some practical steps. Even if they're very tiny steps, they're useful steps. Things like, you know, you might want to just make a phone call. Start very small. As you make each step, your confidence is going to grow with each step. If you make one phone call, you can say, oh, I've done that. Okay, I know that information. If you go and research what to do, okay, I've done that. If you want to send away from some, for something, if you want to purchase something toward your goal, if whatever, little tiny steps. As you do each one of these steps, your confidence is going to grow and then it's going to feel more likely that you can do this. The last card you have for your present is the King of Wands. So again, I'm seeing you wanting to get up and start pursuing this. You want to get up and do this, but maybe you don't know where to start. You're not really ready to do this yet. If you look at this king, he looks like he's about to stand up, but he isn't. He looks like he has his wand. It looks like a walking stick and he's upright. He's ready to get up, but he isn't getting up. He's just sitting there. He's not comfortable. He's ready to get up and do something, but he isn't getting up and doing anything. So again, you know, try to break things down into small steps if things seem overwhelming. You can do this. You can do this. You can definitely do this. The first card you have for your future is the Six of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing that someone could be helping you with an opportunity or saying that they're helping you with an opportunity anyway, bringing you some sort of opportunity. It might not be a real opportunity. It might not be a good opportunity for you. Um, this might be something short term. I'm not seeing whatever this is lasting. It might be a short term job. It might be a, sh a small contract job or something like that. It is around money, around work or something like that. Um, be a little bit careful around this because I'm seeing that maybe um, things might not be being done properly around this. It might not be properly organized or something like that. Just check before you sign anything or agree to anything. It might also be just a verbal agreement. If it's a verbal agreement, don't take it definitely. Make sure things are in writing. And if they are in writing, check everything very, very, very carefully. Definitely don't take on any um, verbal offers. That's what I'm seeing with this. Be very careful. Look at this man in the Six of Pentacles. He's saying, oh, I'm giving this person this money. I'm so kind. I'm helping this person. But really, he's doing it for show. He's not a genuine person. Be very careful. The next card you have for your future is the King of Pentacles. So yes, this king, he's very successful, obviously. He's got to where he wants to be. He has a lot of money around him. He has a lot of achievements around him. He's gotten there by getting there very slowly and very steadily. And that's how you're going to get to your goal. It's going to be slow. It's going to take time. But that's a good thing. Don't think that's a bad thing. You can only get to the step you're at when you're emotionally and uh, mentally ready for that. If you were to get to the top of the bridge at this time, at the top of the bridge, top of the hill or whatever it is at this time, you would not be emotionally ready you will get there when you are emotionally ready. It's going to take a long time to get to where you want to go. That's what I'm seeing. Now, if you're thinking about this, if you're thinking, oh, this is going to take too long. It might take years. Why would I bother taking that time to get to where I want to go? It's going to take too long. I'm not going to bother. Don't see this as an obstacle. Never see time as an obstacle. Never do that. Um, you know, this time is going to pass. If you take up this thing, if you pursue this goal, that time is going to pass. If you don't pursue it, that time is still going to pass and you won't have done it. You may as well take up that time pursuing what you want and get what, getting to what you want and where you want to go at the end of it. Start somewhere, start anywhere, build from there and you'll get to where you want to go. It will take time, but don't worry about that. Don't think about that. Think about the small steps and take those steps. The last card you have for your future is the Page of Cups. Yes, someone's going to come forward to you with an apology, I'm seeing. They're going to try to come toward you and say, I'm sorry. They're going to try and, and find some sort of resolution about some problem you've had with them. You might have um, had a fight with someone, you might have had a disagreement. They're going to come back toward you again at this time. This apology isn't going to be like an apology. You're not going to think this is a true apology. 
if you look at this page of cups, he's a very jokey, kind of a young, fun person. This person might be apologizing to you in a kind of a joking way. You might not see this as a genuine apology. Now, I'm seeing this probably as a genuine apology because this person doesn't apologize very often. They're a kind of a silly, funny person. They find it difficult to be serious. They find it difficult to talk about real things, serious things. This is probably the best you're going to get out of them when it comes to an apology. It's up to you whether you accept that or not, of course. But that's what I'm seeing with that person. That's what I'm seeing. So, Sagittarius, I hope this resonated. General readings, as you know, can't always resonate with everyone. But again, but again, I'm getting my words mixed up. Yes, if you like this reading, as I always say, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to, only if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching.